This tiny bug is causing fear among California citrus growers, and for good reason. This insect can be the carrier of a deadly bacterium, which causes a disease called Huang Longbing, also known as HLB, citrus greening disease, or yellow shoot disease. The disease is like none other the industry has ever known. Infected trees may have yellow mottling of the leaves, lopsided or small fruit, and premature and excessive fruit drop. Even worse, when you see the symptoms, it is too late. As HLB progresses, leaves fall off and whole branches will die. Symptomatic fruit is bitter and inedible. Most importantly, the tree eventually dies, and there is no cure for the disease. The Asian citrus psyllid has already spread HLB around Asia, India, parts of the Middle East, Belize, Mexico, and South and Central America. Closer to home, Asian citrus psyllid is spreading HLB and destroying the citrus industry in Florida. Growers in Florida are fighting an uphill battle, and it is unclear what the outcome will be. Dan Galbraith. We had a chance to go to uh, Florida in early December, and uh, prior to the trip, of course, uh, did a lot of reading and uh, looked at pictures and things like that. But once you get there, there's no amount of uh, pictures or, or or anything like that that can really adequately prepare you for the devastation that you see on such a massive scale. We went out and we drove up to this nice young Valencia block. The trees were about seven or eight years old, had a nice crop on it. Uh, it was in beautiful condition, it looked like anyway, on the surface. And we stopped and I said, I've got to get a picture of this. This will probably be one of the f finer blocks that we'll see on this trip. So I was taking some pictures and uh, there was also a scout team out there looking for the HLB virus. And uh, the gal that was in charge of the scout team, she came and gave us a little talk on what they were doing and what have you. And uh, it came out during her presentation that that block <coughs> was 32% infected and they were gonna have to remove it. And it was sort of at that point where everything kind of crystallized for me. Controlling the psyllid in California is our first line of defense. In June 2008, the psyllid was identified in Tijuana, Mexico. A few short months later, it was identified in San Diego County. Then before long, in Imperial County, Los Angeles, and Orange Counties. A quarantine has been established to prevent movement of the psyllid on plants that are host plants. As of right now, August 2009, the psyllids found in Southern California are not carrying the disease. Dave Tomlinson my trip to Florida, the, the thing that I remember most was uh, a quote that a, a, a guy from Florida told me, grower and uh, actually chairman of the Florida Citrus Commission, commission, was that, Dave, our problem here in Florida was a lack of sense of urgency. And he told me to go back to California and tell your growers there not to repeat the same mistake we had here in Florida. In Florida, little was done to fight the psyllid and the disease until it was too late. The psyllid was first found in Florida in 1998, and within three years, it was found throughout the state. In October 2005, HLB disease was found in two Florida counties. In two years, it was found in 30 counties, their entire citrus-growing region. The psyllids had picked up and spread the disease when feeding on infected trees and landscape plants. David Roth. I truly believe this has to be attacked in an entire state, an entire unity force. No grower, no backyard, no anybody should have be immune from this. We need to attack it and stop it. If we don't stop it in the backyards, at the border, uh, what I saw from, from Florida and what I learned from Florida, they, it came in and because of the canker and a few other things, they did not necessarily attack it hard, and it's absolutely devastating their citrus. We need to take focus on this pest because of how devastating it is and will be to California. In California, the citrus industry working together with the CDFA and the USDA is waging a war on the pest. The California Citrus Research Board is setting up new diagnostic laboratories in the state with goals of rapidly testing psyllids and plant material for the disease. The industry is also engaged in a public outreach campaign to educate consumers, local and state government, about the role they play in helping control the pest and preventing the disease. 
If the disease gets established in California, citrus trees and some landscape material will have to be destroyed, both in backyards and in commercial citrus groves. Years of dedication and hard work will be wasted. Crops will be destroyed, and the effects will be felt by growers and those who depend on them. Time, money, and effort will be lost. Bill Ferry. Right now, I employ 21 people, and I'm not that big of a grower. The reason I do is because I've uh, vertically integrated. I started uh, packing and selling my own fruit. I started a small juice business. Um, so if I'm not in the citrus business, that's the only thing I know to do is grow citrus and olives. <laughs> and I can't make a living on olives. <laughs> And um, so basically, I would, um, I would have to lay off these people. And um, it would be devastating not only for um, uh, my employees, but also for their families, everybody that lives in this uh, valley, in our, in our home area. Um, it's, um, it's just, uh, it, it would be inconceivable to me. One employee that uh, worked for my father, he's been with us for 45 years, he's a foreman now. And um, he, um, he's in his 70s now, and he's, he doesn't want to quit working. And, and uh, so, um, you know, he wouldn't have a job. His, um, uh, it, um, it's just really tough for me to um, have to lay these people off. I have employees that have worked for me for over 20 years, and um, most of my employees are long-term employees. The California citrus industry employs more than 13,500 workers directly and another 12,500 workers in support and affiliated industries. It also represents $1.8 billion of direct economic output and $3 billion when all upstream suppliers and downstream retailers are included. On the consumer level, their ability to grow citrus in their backyards is threatened. Dave Roberts. We need the help of the scientific community. The impact this disease would have on consumers would be worldwide because we do export a lot of product uh, and orange and citrus is a very healthy product it's a very safe product uh, more locally it'll have a huge impact on the California economy in both lack of export activity it'll have a, a huge impact on our labor force because there won't be crops to be harvested on truckers I mean it just ripples all the way through the economy a conservative estimate of the economic cost to the California economy of the Asian citrus psyllid is more than $349.3 million per year, and potentially $371 million if damage is left unchecked. Growers will be forced to spend approximately $400 more per acre to suppress a psyllid population. George McEwen. The message to the growers, they have to realize that uh, this has to be stopped and uh, controlled. It isn't. We've had other diseases and we've had other insects, uh, but this threat is real. Uh, their trees are going to die. they got to understand that if they're infected within eight years, those trees are dead. So they're, they're not going to be viable. And they, they need to understand that they have to be very proactive. Uh, if we put in a, a, a pest control district, uh, we're all going to have to be assessed some money to, to be proactive. And, it, and we're all in it together. We can't we can't splinter because uh, you can't have an orchard out there that's not being treated or being removed because the disease will, will spread. That'll just be a source. So, uh, and growers got to realize it. And even if you're 80 years old, they got to say, this is for the future. It's not just for us. Uh, and this, you run into this problem with, with maybe older people saying that, you know, well, I'm not going to be here any much longer, so I'm not going to worry about it. Well, they've got to think about the future generation. And it's really for the future generation uh, that we're looking for. And um, uh, I, I just think that they need to understand it. And it's pretty hard. It's hard to, to uh, I think, for them maybe to realize it. But I think if you're there, I think you see the reality of it. And it's real. If you're able to visit Florida, please do. See it for yourself. All California growers are at risk of this devastating disease. Learn all you can about the psyllid and the disease and begin a systematic monitoring program in your orchard. Plan ahead and be ready to treat your grove if the psyllid is found. At the same time, you can take heart from the fact that it's not too late for California. If we heed the lessons learned from Florida, we can beat back this pest and the disease it carries. Learn more at CaliforniaCitrusThreat.org or call California Citrus Mutual at 559-592-3790. 
the California Citrus Research Board at 559-738-0246 or the CDFA hotline at 800-591-1899.